Hi, Johnny Hawthorne here at the Exotic booth with Alan Hines. Thanks for coming to the booth. I know it's a big pain getting here. It is a pain getting here. So, uh, what's been going on this winter? Have you been touring? And, um, you got any shows coming up? You got any tours coming up? The most exciting thing is that I've got a CD that I'm really excited about. Um, I have a financial backer who's helping me do everything correct this time. I mean, in the past, I've just I had to ask for favors sure. from the Vinnie Caliutas and the Jimmy Johnsons. I've had to say, hey, can you help me out on the song? And hey, can you give me a good deal? Give me the bro rate. Exactly. And so this time I have a guy who's um, who's very generous. And he's so we went into East West Studios. We recorded everything with my rhythm section. Uh, Jimmy Johnson's on a couple songs. Uh, Lenny Castro, got a great harmonica player named Pat Bergeson from Nashville. Pedal steel player Rich Hinman. A uh, new guy in town, and I'm just really, I've taken my time this time with all of my songs, the layers, and all my solos especially. In the past records, a lot of times I would just leave it to the zeitgeist, you know, just, you know, just uh, right. whatever I felt at that moment came out, that's what it was going to be, sure. for better or for worse. And uh, but Sometimes time, that works out great. Sometimes that works out great too. And this time I would play a solo and I'd, it just, that would be my first inclination, I would just follow that contour of the solo and make, but I made everything really a little extra uh, shiny. But right now we're mixing, I'm looking for the right mixer. We're getting ready to start mixing, because um, all the tracks are done for my new CD, which uh, I'm really excited about. Cool. I, think it's, I think they're all accessible, but interesting at the same time. What do you think that'll be coming out? Gosh, I don't know. You know, Travis Carlton, the bass player, Larry's son, is helping me edit. So Monday we go in and we should finish the editing in a couple days, and then it's on to mixing. And we've got a few guys in mind uh, who we may use. Uh, the guy J.J. Blair is a great engineer who may do some. There's a guy named John Paterno who we talked to a little bit. So uh, I don't know how long that will take. Probably a couple of weeks. Okay. And then and then it's off to mastering. So I'm hoping in a couple months, you know, before the summer. So uh, be on the lookout in a couple months for a new Alan Hines. It's called The Good Fight. The Good Fight, all right. And so um, let's talk about guitars for a oh, second. Yeah, sorry. Where was I? You, uh, Where am I? You have a, a couple of models out now. You have your XSC Alan Hines model and your XTC model. And, and I think you're doing more with your Tele style guitar as far as playing that. Well, I've been a Tele guy for the last several years, you know, because I've had that, that old Esquire. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, a uh, that's a great old guitar. And it was really hard to prime me away from that. You know, as you know, I always use your guitars, but when it came time for a big gig, I'd always opt for my 52 because it's special. Yeah. But you guys, they, uh, Exotic took my guitar and put it through every measurement. You could put it with calipers and measuring the, you know, weighing it and doing the, the pickup output and everything. And, they got it so right, the look of it and the feel of the shape of the neck. So I, when I'm live now, I took it to Europe with me the last couple of times, and literally, I'm not jiving, but after like five seconds, I feel like I'm playing my guitar. That's, my, so that's, my old one. My that's old one. excellent. So yeah. it feels right. I mean, you change the neck angle, you did, you did a lot of things that kind of changed for me, which I'm really flattered. But I hope everybody checks it out. I know Dean loves it. Right. Everybody I've turned the guitar on to love the guitar. Uh, Mike Thompson loved the guitar when I was in Indonesia this year. Um, and um, tell me a little bit about the pickups. They're especially wound for you as well. Yeah, I don't know that a lot of technical stuff, but I know that uh, Kiyoshi, the main brain trust behind the manufacturing or the designs, I know he uh, he uh, staggered and did some uh, mixed like the pole pieces. Ones like on Eagle Three, ones on Eagle Five. I get lost in some of that stuff sometimes, but I know it sounds really great. Yeah. And everybody I've turned on to it. Even the pickup, which you can buy separately now. Yeah, you can buy. Some of my friends in Sweden bought them, and they just they said this is the best. So um, you know, Kiyoshi's a great guitar player, as you are too. So you guys know good tone. It's not like you guys are like working for a medical company doing this on the side. You know, you guys are actual musicians. So so it's good to have. In closing, what does exotic mean to you? Closing, I'm just getting started. Wow, I'm getting. And then when I was two. Sorry. When I, when, what does exotic mean to you? Tone, quality, or...? You know, uh, exotic has always been really open-minded. And, uh, I mean, it's, number one, having Kiyoshi and guys like you on board, so it comes from a player's perspective, which I like that a lot, because you guys know what... You guys all appreciate old vintage instruments, like me. I love my old vintage guitars for a lot of different reasons. 
So it's coming from that, but plus Exotic's always been willing to change, you know, to like make modifications, to listen to the artists and say, oh, you know what? Yeah, we kind of need to do this. And, you know, maybe we should try this instead of being so dead set in your design that you think that, you know, you're going to invent a new wheel, you know. So I like the openness, the open-mindedness and the, um, you know, you guys are easy to work with. And everybody I turn you guys on to say, hey, I called them up and they were super nice. So that's, that, that's that, mostly that, that me. That means a lot. I mean, you know, I called, I won't even mention it, but I, I called a big company to ask them some questions about a new guitar I bought at a new custom shop from another company. And then they got the punk on the other line was like, didn't want anyone to give me, a, he didn't say goodbye, he just kind of hung up the phone, you know. It's like, I mean, I'm not that I'm anybody special, but I'm not chopped liver, you know. So you guys are still had that small company vibe about you, which is another thing I like too. So. Well, cool. All right, everybody, Alan Hines, Exotic, NAMM 2020, hanging out with us. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.